Hello everyone. In the previous video, we successfully updated our to do. So now the time is to delete our to do. So let's go here and work on this delete. So go to the index page where it is. So it's in this one. So we are going to submit a form. Okay, where is the form? It's this one. So before this, we are going to uh, create a route for this. So let me uh, copy this. I'm going to use this one and make this delete so delete is also available there right and then here you need to also make this uh, destroy okay so you can name whatever you want but laravel name this destroy so copy this and go to the controller and in the controller here we need to create a method public function and destroy okay and then this try is same as like above so first we are going to check its uh, id and if it exists we are going to update this uh, we are not going to update this so we are going to uh, use this uh, request and uh, built-in laravel request so we are uh, finding this to do and then we find this uh, if we do not find this we are going to throw this uh, exception and if we find this what we are going to do so let's wait for a moment okay so here we created our uh, to do so let's make this method of post and uh, here you need to define your route so which routes which we created this destroy right and then this to do id we are going to accept this to do id so also add this CSRF token to avoid this 419 error. So give it a refresh. And then here, so let's so DD you are to do, which we are getting this from here, like this one. So click on this delete. So it's going to display, it says post method is not supported for this route. So we need to add this delete method here here we need to add this uh, method and then this method would be a delete method hmm. i think this is not available so let's check this is it uh, working as expected so click on this delete and yes it's printing this and yes now it's uh, printing our to do so we are going to delete this so now this delete is working and uh, here we find this to do so now we are going to delete this to do so how we can do this there is a delete helper so you don't need to type oh, delete uh, all from uh, delete from where id equals this one so it's very uh, elegant by laravel so you don't need to do anything okay so here you need to type oh, a delete helper and then after this delete we are going to print the session and then return the user back right to do deleted successfully so you can also say that it's a success return this back so go back we are going to refresh uh, using this uh, through uh, direct process and click on delete and it will redirect us and yes it's uh, redirected on the back and it says that no to do's are created right great so if the no to do's are there so i'm going to display a button here so we can add this uh, to do so let's uh, let me check that video size so its video size is not going bigger so let's go to the index page and in the index i'm going to display a button here so this word button would be the responsible for creating the to do's hmm okay 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 so uh, where i need to add this so i need to add this to this here uh, you can say that it would be uh, create here you can say that create to do and then this would be going to this uh, create to do page and uh, let me assign this uh, class btn btn sm btn info okay info and save this one and give it a refresh so i'm doing this very fastly because uh, you know that why uh, we already did this so click on this create 
and yes laravel to do okay laravel description so submit this and yes it's submitted and it's incomplete so let's again add this php php description submit it and uh, yes it's also submitted and it's incomplete so let's make this laravel 9 you can also view them into a new tab and go back and click on this edit and yes now we can edit this stuff so i'm going to this laravel 9 so laravel 9 to do select the option completed so click on this update and yes it's now status is changed and it's successfully working so let's click on this delete and it's going to delete this and yes it says deleted successfully so click on this delete and uh, yes now it says no to do's are there so you can create this to do so let's give it a refresh so this will also disappear and yes so our system is completely working as expected so in the next video i'm going to improve our route controller uh, route our route not controller so improve our route according to the laravel 9 so let's take eye on this so the next video is going very amazing so let's meet you in the next video bye bye